Back with the heavy focus on COVID-19 testing and vaccinations, some experts worry that testing for HIV and AIDS has fallen behind as that was the biggest health concern for many years. I spoke to Emily Rymland, who is a certified HIV specialist and director of clinical services at Nurex, who explains why everyone who is sexually active should get tested and how people who are living with HIV and AIDS can still live healthy and long lives along with their partner. Emily, welcome to Great Day Washington. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So let's hop into this now. There was a time when chances for survival were not good. Tell us how that's changed. Oh my gosh, it's changed a lot. So I've been in the field of HIV for 30 years. And when I first started, I couldn't, we couldn't catch up with the deaths that were happening so fast. Um, and over the years, we've developed incredible treatments to where now HIV is a manageable illness by taking one pill once a day and going on about your life. You can eat the foods you want and enjoy your life and have a full, long life. So it's That incredible. is so amazing. Here's something that, I, you know, I think is an interesting question. Can it be prevented? Yes. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we look at prevention. One is with a daily medication called PrEP. And it's a pill that someone would take every day to prevent an HIV acquisition. So if you're at all feeling you're at risk for picking up HIV uh, sexually or with injection drug use as well, you can take this pill daily to prevent the infection, uh, both in men and women. Um, and then, of course, there's also the other options of using condoms, getting tested regularly. And if you have a partner who's HIV positive, as long as they're on their medications and taking the medication every day, and controlling the virus, then they cannot spread the virus to someone else, which is, we refer, to, we refer to that as U equals U. Undetectable means untransmittable. So there's really no reason to get HIV anymore when you have access to all these options, at least here. And you know, Emily, I'm so glad you're on with this because even though we've had all this progress, there's so many questions I think people still have that are still mysterious, like, mm -hmm. does it only just affect the gay community? No. So uh, first of all, you're absolutely right. When people say to me, what do you do? And I say, I'm an HIV clinician and they go, HIV is still here. Like we've forgotten that it's still here and that the rates of infection have not really gone down. They're around 34,000 a year in this country. Um, and PrEP is not just for gay men. Uh, it is my practice over the years has been about 25 to 30 percent women, mostly heterosexual women who've been infected through their sexual partners. Um, so we need to understand that HIV only cares if you're human. It doesn't care what gender you are, what sex you sleep with, what religion you practice, and how much money is in your wallet. It's, it's fair game for all of us. Well, who should get tested? And Everyone who's ever had sex who's never been tested should get a test. Okay. And then based on your relationships, you should get tested at least every year if you have new sexual partners. Um, or if you're in the dating game and you want to enjoy your sex life, then you can get tested more frequently if you like. But everyone should get a baseline who's sexually active, and there's no one who shouldn't have one at some point in their life. And it, it's really up to providers to incorporate that into other primary care issues. So if you're testing for diabetes and you're testing for cholesterol, why are you not testing for STIs and HIV? We and are human beings. And Emily, even those of us who are married should get tested, correct? If you've never had one, you should just get a baseline. Sure, it's a good thing to also, if you get tested, then you open up the communication around testing with your partners, but also with your family. I used to have kids that would come to me and say, how do I get my mom or my grandma to get tested? Like you're never too old. And I actually think we do a disservice to elderly folks who are sexually active and enjoying it, should understand about HIV. For many of them, if you think, they were married for years and years. There was an HIV before they got married. They're out of a wet marriage, you know, out of being married now, whether it's widowed or divorced. And they, it doesn't even occur to them to even have a conversation. So getting tested also promotes the conversation, which promotes education, which promotes prevention. Emily, you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on Great Day Washington. Thank you. Enjoy the day.